Hello everyone, my name is Akerele Oluwa Shogo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to calculate salary breakdown in Excel while you're preparing your payroll in Excel. So as an HR, if you're in charge of payroll, so I'm going to teach you how to go about your payroll in Microsoft Excel, how to use the formulas in computing your payroll in Excel. In these videos, we have some hypothetical example here to explain how to prepare your payroll in microsoft excel i have the name of the employee in my example i also have their position and their gross monthly pay so your gross salary is the salary before the deduction that's the salary before the deduction and here are your gross monthly pay covers your basic salary your housing your transport your lunch allowance, your furniture, your dress and utility and education, depending on the company, depending on the company. So in this example, our basic salary is 30% of your gross monthly pay. Your housing is 20%. Your transportation is 15%, while your lunch is 10% of your grossly monthly pay. Your furniture is 8%. Your dress is 6%. Utilities is six percent and education is five percent. So, want to put this in Excel? How do you prepare the salary? Someone that is any six hundred thirty thousand, six hundred thirty thousand. What is the basic salary for this person? And what is the percentage for housing? So, we are going to learn how to do that in Excel. At the end of the day, we want to know the next net salary for each of these employee you want to calculate the net salary for each of these employee after removing the deduction after removing the deduction like your tax your pension if the staff is taking loan how do you do that in excel and if there's a fine or penalty for that staff how to calculate it to get the net pay in excel okay all right the first thing you need to do is to calculate the breakdown for each of the employee for each of the employee so i want to find the percentage for for all the breakdown let me start from the basic salary so the basic salary is 30 percent of your gross so we are going to calculate that in excel when you are calculating this you have to use your absolute cell reference so that you can do copy down the formula for each of the employee so i will start by typing equal symbol i click on the gross monthly pay so i'll press shift and eight to bring out the multiplication sign out in excel shift eight and i'll click on the 30 percent but i'm going to lock this 30 percent i'm going to make it absolute so i can auto fill for the, all the employee at once that means i can copy down the formula so i'll press function f4 to lock that particular cell so you see dollar sign in front of your cell address that makes the cell address absolute i mean constant so i press enter so the person any six thirty thousand six hundred thirty thousand is basic salary is 189,000. So after I've done the first formula, all I need to do is to double click on the hedge to copy down the formula for the rest of the employee. You can see their basic salary. So I move to housing. So I'll type the same equal symbol. I click on this, multiply shift 8. I click on the 20%. To lock it again by pressing function F4 and I press enter. So housing is 126,000. Out of 630,000, housing is 126,000 Naira. So I copy down the formula for the rest again. So I'll move to transportation. Let's see how much is for transportation from out of that 630,000. So I'll type equal symbol. I click the same 630,000, multiply by pressing shift 8, shift and 8. And I click on the 15%. So I lock that cell by making it custom. And I press enter. So 94,500 is for transportation out of that 630,000. So I'll copy down the formula for the rest. So I'll do the same thing for the launch. I've typed equal symbol. Click on the grossly multi 
monthly pay, shift 8 to bring out the motion symbol. I click on the 10% for launch. I lock that cell and I press enter. So I found the percentage for launch, which is 63,000. So I will copy down the formula for the rest of the data. So I'll do for furniture to equal symbol. Click on the grossly multiply, multiply. Click on the percentage, which is 8%. Make that cell absolute by pressing shift F4. Function F4. Function F4. I press enter. So I'll find the pattern for furniture. So I equal symbol. Click on the 630. Multiply shift 8. I click on the percentage. And I'll make that cell absolute. And I press enter. So I will copy down the formula for the rest of the data. I will do for utility the same way too. Click on the 630,000. Multiply. Click on the percentage. Lock the cell. Press enter. Copy down the formula. So I'll do for education the same way. Multiply, shift 8. Click on the percentage. Lock the cell, press enter, copy down the formula. So you can see the breakdown for each of the salary. Now you can see the breakdown and find the basic salary, the housing, transport, lunch, furniture, and the rest. So let me go and calculate the subtotal now. Subtotal should give me the same thing as the gross. You want to add everything together by this by just pressing my so i'll type equal symbol i need some function to do this i open the function so subtotal of all this so i'll start from the basics so i'll highlight everything from this is to from this is to d to cases and i'll press enter so it should it should it should give me the same amount as a gross monthly pay so when you add up the salary breakdown it should give you the same amount as your gross gross monthly pay which is the subtotal so i will copy down the formula for everything so now i want to calculate your net pay so net pay your pay is five percent so i have to find the pay the five percent so i'll type equal symbol i click on the subtotal let me get the tax by multiplication multiply and I click on the 5%, which is for pay as you know, the tax. So I'll lock that percentage by press function F4 and I'll press enter. So the tax for the first part that is NEC 30,000 is 31,500. So I'll copy the, for the others. So I'll find the for the other. So I'll find the pension, the 8% pension, the same way, equal symbol. Click on the subtotal. Multiply, click on the eight percent, and I press enter. So I have to lock that cell, I have to lock the eight percent. I press enter. So I will copy down the formula for the rest of the data. So I've copied down the formula. So now so the percentage contribution of the company for the pension is 10 percent i will do that again click on the subtotal multiply it click on the 10 percent lock the cell by pressing function f4 function f4 function f4 and i press enter so i'll copy down the formula so the last the last so now let's find the net pay so our net pay will be equal symbol your net pay will be equal symbol so i'll click on the subtotal so minus i will remove the tax pay minus and i will move the pension pension so we have to pension the eight percent and the ten percent so the eight percent is your own personal contribution and the ten percent is the company contribution so i'm going to remove your own contribution and i press enter you can see the net pay for each of this stuff so after i've removed the tax and the pension that's how to calculate payroll in excel
Thank you for watching my video. My name is Akere Lee Oluwa Shogo.